Well, Joe Biden was promising major expenditure increases, focusing on healthcare, education, and on infrastructure projects, especially green energy. We were also anticipating major tax changes that would have seen corporation tax rise, capital gains tax increase, and also there were going to be higher taxes on big earners. On top of that, there were also expected to be regulatory changes that would have impacted financial services, healthcare, big tech, and also energy as well. This election outcome, though, means that the Democrats now need to work with the Republicans to get their policies through. But given Republican opposition to much of them, we would expect to see a lot of these heavily diluted. Nonetheless, there will be more government spending next year, perhaps of the order of a trillion dollars or maybe 5% of GDP. And that, coupled with the approval and the rollout of a vaccine, can really lift and drive the economy forward. And we remain actually very upbeat on the prospects for 2021 and 2022. Unfortunately, we are getting more concerned about the near-term economic outlook. Unemployment benefits are being tapered, and there are rising COVID cases right across the nation here in the US. That could lead to more containment measures, similar to what we're seeing in Europe, and that's going to really hurt economic activity, and we could see a contraction once more in the US. We also sense that we could be in for a period of deeper political animosity, with legal challenges now being launched against some of the election results. Now that could hamper the ability or the desire for politicians to sit around a table and agree to a package of measures that can tide the economy over through this potentially troubling period. So while we are upbeat on the US economic prospects medium to longer term, we have to accept that the near term story is looking much, much tougher.